This is our ride to the gym this morning. Hi, fish. <laughs> we haven't been in this in ages. Because I just got an MOT in tax yesterday. Yay! <laughs> Did you know mini adventure. that our friend, the chap that actually took the photos from our wedding, I took him for a spin in this about Did six you? months ago. He took, he took a spin and he loved it and he actually went and bought himself one. Has he got one? So he's now got an old school mini and he just texted me yesterday with a picture of it saying time for a mini adventure. Mini adventure! We're going to the gym, it's not really an adventure but you know. Ha <laughs> ha! Well, hello there. What's going on I here? Know the wheel. Somebody's having her own mini adventure, <laughs> little terrorist. You can't have all the fun. Not fair. Uh, we have just been to circuits and. Not circuits. Not circuits, we've been to the trainer. And it um, was good. Did you enjoy the boxing? I did, we did boxing. Again. Boxing, she is a mean machine I with love the gloves. Boxing, I tell you what, I do not want to get into a fight with her, otherwise, <laughs> I will have on the badass guy. It's a good way to get out a bit of aggression. Like, Who would you ooh. say you picture on the gloves? <laughs> Who is it? Now like, that would be telling, oh, wouldn't it? <laughs> mm, I wonder if it's my face. Mm, not sure. But, so we've done a good session. I did my most dramatic, trying really hard face to run because. Oh my god, Mike running is like, Hoo! Hoo! I'm doing it! You're like, yes, I'm Mike, pushing. over dramatic. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with being a bit of a drama queen. I'm good at it, you know? I can run oh, with the best of them. Um, so we've got a little program in. I am determined to get Blur over here. That one, yes. You you need to change down again. I'd go for second if I was you, or third. Um, <laughs> Any, there are just some gear in there, be good. It's just one, one so, of them. So, the challenge is, I'm going to try and get Blur to do a half marathon. Next year. Next year. So, you've got until December to get to a fit enough state so we can actually book a half marathon. Okay. And then we will train towards it. Because I'm doing, I'm, I'm up to doing like eight miles at the moment. It's I'm 13 miles, 13, right? yeah. So, I think you can do it. I'm confident. Me and you can do a mar half marathon. So, if you think we should, it's gone very dark. If you think we should do a half marathon, then let us know. And if you think we should do a half marathon, then tell us which half marathon we should do. I'd like to do the Great North Run, but I think entrance no way, to that. Jose. It's supposed to be the best one to do. Yeah, but it's really hilly. I yeah, don't but, like hills. Oh dear. But I think I think entrance for that is already passed. I don't, unless unless we chatted to a charity, I don't think we'd be able to do I don't think I want to do like a major one. Oh, I just want to do like do you and me one. go out and do it. No, I think you've got to you've got to do the whole thing. You've got to be you know, like it's like a real. You've got other people around Why you. Why don't we make our own half marathon and get people to join? Maybe we could do that. Would the you guys like to do that? Half the Fleur de Force half marathon around London. And Maybe we can invite people to come with us. Yes. That would be really fun. Maybe. Actually, slash not if you're really unfit and couldn't do it. <laughs> yeah, but you know. Imagine you've got all these people like yeah, we're running and I'm like. Hey. Yeah, I think you have to get fit. But maybe that's what we should do. We should do like, we could do like around a local reservoir, do a half marathon and get a load of people to turn up for charity. We could. How does that sound? Very, very, it's gone, we've gone very dark all of a sudden, haven't we? There we go. Surprise, surprise, got scrambled eggs for breakfast. Friday scrambled eggs. Friday scrambled eggs. Then every other day of the week. Just having a quick coffee at mum's with mum, who has been, who's really blurry, who has been converting the conservatory into an amazing party room. It's grandma's 80th birthday tomorrow and we're having a big party for her. And mum's been setting up tables in here and it looks so awesome. Has grandma seen this mum? No, she hasn't. She's gonna love it. Well, actually she'll probably complain, but. <laughs> Is it snack time, my puppies? <coughs> hey? Hey, noisy. <coughs> whose bowl do you think is whose? I think this one might be yours, Piglet Wiglet. <laughs> you. You sit. Good girl. Good girl, Piggy. These guys chomping away already. So guys, whilst I was in France, I started watching Salem on Netflix and it's so good. I watched like two episodes yesterday when I was there and I got home and it's not on Netflix in the UK. How annoying is that when that happens? Um, so I've downloaded it from iTunes and I'm totally addicted. I think season one is from like 2014, so you guys might have seen it already, but FYI, if you're into witchy spooky stuff and you haven't seen Salem yet, I think you should watch it. Mike and I are now on our way to Mike's parents' house to cook some dinner. Basically, Mike's sister Lizzie is back for the weekend and we haven't seen her in a while. So we're going over all for dinner and Mike's mum doesn't really like cooking, so. She does like cooking, but she just. I not guess as much I as offered, we do. I offered chef, so I'm chefing and you're going to do your famous apple pie. My famous apple pie, which this time, guys, I'm like teaching myself how to properly cook apple pie um, after last time. This time it's going to be really good. Can I? I'm cooking apple pie. Mike is cooking chicken and pachetta. Yeah, chicken and pachetta with some roast sweet potatoes and some veggies. Can I make one?
one tip for your apple pie this time, yeah. which I would like, because I like it when this happens, mm, I do, is can you please put some sprinkle some caster sugar on top on of top. your pastry okay so then you get like a really caramelized crunch glaze, and glaze okay as long as we buy enough pastry this time well that um, was not my fault because you were making the you apple pie. bought the pastry that's not my problem you told me how much you wanted i, I asked did how not much, i just said how much pastry did you want? i didn't know either way neither of us knew how to make apple pie before now we do and it's going to be delicious and this spot in between my eyebrows it's driving me absolutely nuts because every time I like furrow my brow, it really hurts. And no matter how much concealer I put on it, you can still see it. Oh, I put concealer on so much these days. So much concealer. You know, so boys much. do wear concealer. Really? Yep. Uh, I don't. A lot of YouTube boys wear concealer. Maybe that's top secret. I don't know. I don't know if people know oh, that. Maybe you've just made but, like, it public. You've just I... ousted people. <laughs> Mike DeForce in action in his native environment buying the food. This is a what's in my trolley edition following Mike around the supermarket. He's already got the chicken from the butcher, yeah. but we've got prosciutto to wrap around it. We've yeah. got some leeks. We've got leeks some mushrooms. We're going to grill the carrots and the... Oh, we've got carrots and asparagus. Yeah. Purple sprouting broccoli. This is like my favorite thing ever in the world. Borsan with garlic and herbs to put in sure. the chicken. Sweet needed. potatoes, custard, yeah. hell yes. Cream, crisps, olives, hummus, garlic butter, basil, olive oil, hot sauce, obviously, and mayonnaise. It's gonna be good. Oh, ice cream, ice cream, custard, and cream. <laughs> Turns out the essential Waitrose dog food is just made for treacle. Apple pie mark two, coming along pretty nicely. This is so good. It's gonna be good, guys. It's gonna be better than your main course for half. Currently getting shouted at by Piglet Wiglet for leaving them all evening. She goes nuts, look. Oh, cuddle time, guys. Bed is calling up the wooden hill, as my dad used to say. See you guys at the 